What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and today we're gonna have some fun with one of these again. This is a clear ballistic shield that's rated up to 44 Magnum. Now we tested one of these a year ago and it stopped everything that it said it would stop. We shot it with some stuff it wasn't rated for, it didn't stop those, but it was still really, really cool. So what I wanna find out today is what happens if we shoot it several hundred times with something that it is rated for, like nine millimeter out of our Gatling gun. This should be a lot of fun. Let's go get set up and get started. All right, so Spanky here, our ballistic gel dummy, has volunteered to hold our shield for us today. I want to thank the fine folks over at Clear Ballistics for sending this over to us. We're going to set the shield up like this at a slight angle, and then I'm going to ratchet strap it to Spanky and to the cinder block back here. That should work. So this is what we're gonna shoot the ballistic shield with. This is our Tipman Armory Gatling gun. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. It takes Glock mags, and today we have several different mags. So I'm gonna start out with these two. These are 33 round mags. Then we have a 50 round mag, and then this one's new. We have a 100 round mag. So it's pretty simple. You can go side to side. As fast as you can turn it, it's as fast as it's gonna fire. So what do you think is gonna happen? How many rounds of nine mil do you think it's gonna take to make it through that shield? Or is it never gonna make it through the shield? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. First, I'm gonna try and get this thing aimed up with the shield. Let's take one shot. Okay, we hit a little to the left. I'm gonna move this just a little bit. Take one more. Okay, all right. Okay, so we hit the shield a few times and it stopped every single one of those rounds. And you can see that they're pushed up inside the shield. And there's a little bit of bulge in the back. It looks like we may have a problem with the shield coming up. So I'm gonna get another ratchet strap, strap it around the bottom, and then I think we'll be good to go. Oh yeah, we're good now. Crazy. Nothing has still made it through. It is so warm. <laughs> Dude. crack oh we made it through you can see we chewed this up really bad in this one spot the shield has cracked let's unratchet strap it there's a round but it doesn't look like it did much anything and then we've got one right there and then it looks like one went all the way through Spanky. Dang. Well, that shield stopped quite a few though. Dang, it's just full of lead. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> We successfully made it through the shield. So there's really no reason to use this 100 round mag, but I took the time to load it. So we're gonna use it. Oh, you just got jammed. Right off the bat. Oh. Oh. You just got jammed. Twenty minutes later.
Yeah, uh, definitely uh, did not stop all those. Look at that. Look at all those bullets that are just mushed up down there at the bottom. Gosh, this thing smells really bad. Oh, I chewed up my ratchet strap. Look at that. Okay, first let's look at the shield here. So we managed to keep all the rounds in this one spot right here. And uh, there was pretty much nothing stopping those last few rounds that were passing through. We chewed up the center of block a little bit, but this is all tore up. You can see this is like full of lead inside there. <laughs> because the shield wasn't stopping much, Spanky was stopping the rest of them. We ended up chewing up our cinder block a little bit. There's a round. We had several pass through Spanky. So if I turn him sideways, get an idea of how many rounds made it through that shield. Well, the clear ballistic shield was pretty tough. It took 116 rounds in the same spot to finally make it through that thing. I'm pretty impressed with it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a big favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time.